Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 1705 RD. It's a great couples coach, nice big dinette in the back, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the outside. So one of the things I like about Winnebago Tobo products is the frame itself. They utilize a huck bolt frame, which has excellent strength and rigidity, and also has less chance to rust because your most common place that the frame rusts is on your weld points. So because it uses that huck bolt, again, less chance for the rust. The other nice thing about it is if you do have any damage, it's easier and cheaper to repair. Uh, you will see right here is uh, where the rails for your battery go. You put your battery box there. Now the propane tanks do go right here, but the manufacturer ships it without propane. We haven't put it on here yet, but the, trust me, the coach definitely does have propane with it. Right here is the black diamond plating. This of course protects the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. That way it doesn't damage the front of the trailer. If you come around to the side, one of the things you'll notice about all Winnebago Tobo products are the gorgeous sidewalls. This is a true poured gel coat exterior, which is one of the best in the RV industry. Something you see on the big diesel pushers, it's just absolutely gorgeous. You can see that shine and reflection there. It's very similar to how a boat hull is made. And if you know a thing or two about boats, you know that you can uh, have, you can buff them and keep that shine and luster throughout the life of the boat. It is the same thing here with the Winnebago. Right on here, we'll open this up. You can see your front storage compartment. This one does have two large storage compartments, one right here up front, the other in the back, which I will show you in a little bit. Underneath that, if you take a look right here, you will see that you have a propane quick connect. So if you uh, like to grill outside, you can just take your grill, pop it right in there. And again, then you can feed off the big propane bottles instead of these small green ones. Right here is a big power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. Then it has an LED light there as well so you don't have to hang up any Christmas lights. Getting into the coach, you have a step here. It's all you need because it's a low profile, lightweight coach. And then you have the foldable easy grab handle right here as well, which again is nice. Rather than having the little one that's right here next to it, the big grab handle definitely helps for support and stability to get into the coach. Uh, you have two speakers on the outside here. That of course is controlled by the multimedia center inside, but they're Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can connect to that wirelessly and be able to control your music from right outside here. You have the aluminum alloy rims. That's cool. Uh, not only does it look great, but also helps prevent against any kind of rust or corrosion. Nitrogen filled tires there. And if you take a look at the axle, it utilizes the torsion axle system, which is an upgraded suspension over your standard uh, leaf springs that most trailers have. Right back here's your TV hookup. So if you're one that likes to watch TV, don't worry. They did go ahead and install a backer right here in the wall for you. Obviously you need some electric, that's what that is. And then cable will be right there. Uh, that's not the inlet of course, that is what would hook up to the TV. Now as I promised, there are two big storage areas. Here is the second one. This is underneath the dinette. Uh, and it, Cause as I mentioned, it does have the rear dinette, but just two great storage areas here on the outside. Let's come around to the back side of the RV. Right here is your spare tire. This is mounted on the bumper, as you can tell. Uh, has the cover on there as well, which is not only stylish, but helps protect the tire uh, from any kind of weather damage. And then you'll see the stabilizers, has four stabilizers, two in the back, two up front. You have a rear mounted ladder. This is really nice too. It makes it uh, very easy to climb up on the roof for any kind of maintenance. Plus, that way you don't have to bring one. That's always a big bonus. That way, again, you're not filling up your entire storage area with that ladder. So you come around to the off door side, right up here on the front of the coach is where all your hookups are. This is where the satellite would go in or if you have cable at the park right here, black tank flush valve to wash out your black tank. 30 amp electrical outside shower there with both hot and cold. And then you have your water inlets here for the city and then one to fill up your tank. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 1705 RD. This particular model is in the graphite interior. Let's start off on the kitchen here. So for being a shorter trailer, you actually have pretty good prep space right here, which I like. 
single bowl sink with the high-rise faucet there so you can do dishes and then the two burner cooktop right here off to the side if you do need to plug anything in if you want to put a coffee maker or something here you do have an electrical outlet right underneath the cupboards and then you'll also see under here is a nice uh, bright LED light in fact you have LED lights throughout the entire coach which are great because they use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat take a look up top you have good pantry space right up here and then over to this side is your microwave directly beneath that is your hood with the light and fan if you take a look underneath here you have a couple good storage areas right over here you can see that of course your sink top cover right there so that way again you can help uh, utilize this as prep space too and then right over here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo drop down freezer there your controls are right on the front and this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over now as we make our way to the back of the coach as i mentioned this is the rd which is rear dinette so you can see here you have this huge u-shaped dinette back here which is great uh, nice leather seating on here too so that way if you, uh, it's nice and easy to clean up the other cool thing is this drops down into a very large bed. You can just remove these two legs right here. The table will sit on the rails, filled in with cushions, and this creates a big enough bed that two adults can sleep back here. Windows all the way around, bring in a lot of natural light, and you have an excellent view out the back right there. You also see an electrical outlet off to the side, so if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet while you're sitting at the table, you have the ability to do that. Again, LED lights throughout here, some speakers up on the ceiling, and then right there is your extra storage. AC right here too, and then off to the side here is your King Jack. Uh, that's nice. That is your TV antenna. The cool thing about the King Jack, you don't have to worry about cranking your TV antenna up or down. You just have to turn it to find the best signal. Now, if you take a look right over here to the side, this is your entertainment center. TV right here in the center. Multimedia uh, center right there. This unit is your radio, CD, and a DVD player. And as I mentioned, when we were outside, this unit is Bluetooth capable. And then you will also see right underneath you have some additional storage, which is perfect for your DVD collection. The bathroom of the 1705 RD does have the nice robe hook right here on the door. And then when you take a look inside, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet there with plenty of legroom in front. You also have nice big countertop space with the cubby hole cut out there. So if you want to fit a small trash can in there, you can. Or of course, just put some of your uh, bathroom accessories. Then right here, you will see your mirror. And up top on the ceiling, you have a light as well as a vent fan and an electrical outlet to plug items in. Then right over here to this side is your shower. You see you have a hand wand here to uh, make it nice and easy to wash up and then a big skylight up top. In the front of the 1705, you have a nice wardrobe right over here. If you take a look there, nice big space, plenty of space to hang your clothes. And then you have additional storage going across the top. So if you wanna put some folded clothes up there, you're able to do that. You'll also see you have a vent right here to allow for a nice cross breeze if you don't want to run the AC, as well as windows on both sides of the bed. Privacy curtain right here going across in case you have guests that stay the night. Furnace located right here, so that way at night you are nice and toasty. And then of course the bed is in the very nose. The nice thing about the bed, take a look at that. They put a handle on there so you can lift it up for access into that storage up front that I showed you when we were outside. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 1705 RD. This one has the cherry red exterior with the graphite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.